Martel, thanks for the invitation to your stand at EMO 2019. Now, many engineers worldwide will know Mitsutoyo for many inspection and measurement solutions. Now, you specialize on the CMM side of the business, which is very, very important. Now, one thing that takes my eye is, is this machine. Now, you're missing a bridge. I presume it gives a lot more flexibility and work area for engineers, but can you tell me specifically why you've produced this machine? Yeah, that's <clears throat> exactly what you uh, are saying. We are missing here this area, so that means you have three sides where you, with the open structure where you can load your parts. This machine is for the shop floor and also for automatization designed. So you can have your throughput from robots or automatization systems automatically in the system from all from three sides, and that makes it very suitable to put in your uh, shop floor environment for automatization of your production and do the measurements near a cell or where you are making your products. Now, being on the shop floor, I suppose temperature can be a bit of a, a, an issue depending on the type of products engineers are actually machining. How, how does the machine actually get through this? Yes, of course, inside of the machine uh, by the scales and uh, we are measuring the temperature and compensation for, uh, make compensation for this. Also, you see there uh, two uh, copper colored uh, sensors who are measuring the temperature for the part and for your pellet so we are compensating for the temperature uh, more important is uh, that the fluctuation of course shouldn't be very much but we can this machine can work from 10 to 40 degrees celsius so it gi still gives the customer uh, the, the guarantee and the reassurance that every component that's being measured is being measured at the right sort of environment, the right sort of temperature. Exactly, and that's why we uh, specify also this machine uh, according to the, the, the standards, but with two classes for two different kinds of uh, temperature uh, range. And one thing I noticed on this machine as well, you've got the field system connected. Now, how does that actually work and how does that actually benefit engineers? Yeah. Of course, what's the meaning of uh, IoT and uh, Industry 4.0 is that we have to communicate with more devices than only our PC where the measurement results are coming. Because measurement results now were analyzed not only on the shop floor or in a laboratory, but they want to have access everywhere. And also people want to sh see for different kinds of machine, are they still working? Or what is the status? Is it idle, waiting, producing or measuring? And this kind of information can make your production and measuring system working together in a smoother and faster way. So measuring was always a little bit slowing down the process, but this is to speed it up again. Now I know with uh, your traditional CMMs you can go up to six meters. Can you have a larger machines in this format without the bridge? No, there are limits in this kinds of uh, form because you're missing here your and it will bend. So, no, they are limited to some dimensions, and I can imagine that maybe we get a bigger one, but uh, no, then you have to go back to your traditional CMMs, and what you see is that uh, technology here in the shop floor machines is also added in our new uh, range uh, bridge type machines. So, for example, we have here an absolute scale. That means it don't have to move to its origin, its zero point, also, the bridge machines now get these scales in, uh, into it. So, you see technology that we have used here is also adapted to our other bridge machines so to get more flexibility on that side too. And my last question, I, I've noticed a little bit uh, of a brand change, a bit of a color change. Is, is that for a reason? Yeah, of course. Um, you see the branding, that's uh, very good for you. And we will do this for every machine so that we have one corporate identity so it makes it more suitable for me to tell you in the past we see machines on brochures and they make it a picture but you couldn't see that it was our machines so on the back side there was no me logo or anything so that has changed to see also to bring more me into the field if if there is a brochure from something else a technical magazine it's nice to see it's our product, and that's one of the things also. Well, one thing I, I always think with Mitsutoyo, you're great innovators of inspection and measurement solutions. Thanks very much for your time at EMO 2019. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you very much.